I'm Karen Algisma in beautiful Sydney by the sea, and we are about to go on a sculpture walk. And you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, we discover a new trend in do-it-yourself art. And James Green gets some dance lessons from Ballet Victoria. And we also find out the meaning behind some of the unique stonework on the Bard and the Banker building. All that and so much more on Go Island. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Thank you so much for joining us in beautiful, sunny Sydney by the Sea. We are so thrilled to tell you about all the art that is everywhere in this town. I am telling you, wherever you look, there's art and uh, paintings and murals, but what we're really stoked about is a particular event that's gonna be happening until the end of January, right into February, uh, that will invite you to walk around, pause, and really look at the art. Tell us, first of all, what is going on here? What, tell us all about the Sculpture Walk. Well, I am one of 12 sculptors who was selected to be part of the Sydney Sculpture Walk, and this is my piece here called um, Sea Otter Plaque, and it's a story about sea otters and bull kelp and sea urchins, which is kind of telling a story about how they are in balance in nature. I thought it was significant to bring this piece in, which is quite close to the Shaw Ocean Discovery Center, a place where people can come and get lots of information about the wildlife in the sea. But what's really exciting is coming up here now in January, people can vote on one of 12 of these sculptures to be their favorite one and create a People's Choice Award. So there are sculptures starting here and working their way all the way down the walkway here. And what I love about this is we have such crazy lives that it gives us the opportunity to pause, stop, look, take it in, read who did it, you know, and decide what is your favorite. Maybe go back and look at them in a second time. What does it mean to you to be um, to be one of the artists as part of the public art that's, that makes Sydney the special place that it is. Well, it's fantastic because this is my home here on Vancouver Island, and it's great to be able to do a piece that reflects my interest in my art and in nature. And yeah, it's a, it's a proud moment to have my piece on display here, and it's uh, a great opportunity for my work to get out there and be looked at. It's also a proud moment for us here in Sydney because this guy is actually world famous. He's actually seriously, truly a world famous uh, sand uh, artist. You've been tra you've traveled all over the world and done sculptures. And, and, and between this time and the last time I saw you at Celebrator Harbor, I yes. just came back from Kuwait where I was building the world's biggest ever sand sculpture. So uh, it was a 30,000 ton project with 70 sculptors and that was fantastic. Oh my gosh. And that's what's so delightful about this experience is you learn about these artists, you hear all the cool things they've done, and then you get to kind of sit back, relax, and enjoy public art, which I'm a huge fan of. Um, we are going to show you some of the other cool things. We're also going to talk to the mayor and the, one of the councillors, Marilyn Loveless, who I love. Uh, we're also going to um, give you a few of the highlights of the big gala that's going to be happening at the end of this whole event. But first, we're talking about public art, and art is such a big part of our culture here in the West Coast. But there's one art form that's coming back in a huge way. Can you guess what it is? I'll let Suchetta Singh explain. From pottery to sculpture, we love the arts here on Vancouver Island, and Sydney by the Sea is celebrating public art in a big way. We're with the mayor. Mayor Cross, tell us about the event that's happening here in Sydney. Well, at the moment, we're having the uh, People's Choice event uh, on, underway, and that'll go to the end of, uh, of, of January. Uh, January. That's right, I'm trying to remember there. And uh, it's open to anyone. So anyone who walks along and uh, looks at the sculptures, make a decision which one they like. Uh, there'll be balloting forms in the town hall or in the be available in various locations. And again, vote for your favorite. Uh, what'll happen is the, the winner of the popular choice will in fact have their sculpture bought by the town and it will become part of the permanent collection of the town. And if you've ever been to Sydney, there is so much public art here. It makes it such a, a, a fun place to putz around and look around. Children love to get their picture right. taken 
in with them. But uh, to take the time when you come out to beautiful Sydney by the sea to look at all the public art. But this is definitely yeah. worth putting on your list of things to do. It is, Karen. And we're happy to say that there's no tax money being used for the purchasing or any of the activities here. Uh, we have uh, funds from our uh, density bonus program that we oh, nice. for, for developers. And one of the, the designated purposes for that money is public art. And so that money will be used to purchase the public art here. The other thing we're happy about was that the origins of the of the sculpture walk along our beautiful waterfront um, came from, from the public basically and from our business community. Uh, it was brought forward and uh, we, the council, looked at it and thought it was a great idea and it's turned it over to um, our champion of the arts, Council Loftus, who uh, took it forward. We set up a committee in the community involving not only the business community but residents as well. Uh, uh, the art galleries were involved in it as well and it's come to this now and it's moving forward. And you've set, you literally world-renowned artists as part of this we uh, work. We do. Yes, we do. Unbelievable. Yes. Do you have a favorite? Are you allowed to say? No, I'm not allowed to say. Oh, I'll come on. Vote. Give me, I'll, give I'll me vote. a couple of faves. I, I like dancing. Yeah. So look look around. You'll you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm glad. Well, I have many favorites I'm here. I'm glad you like dancing because that is also what our friend James Green likes where he headed out to Ballet Victoria to find out about their latest production. And guess what? He actually tried oh. a little dancing. <laughs> I know. It's funny. Did he have on his tutu on? Ooh. Now that's a good idea. Don't you just want to shout? and dance from Ballet Victoria, dancing to beautiful public art, sculptures just bursting out of the grass here in Sydney by the sea. We love the arts here on Vancouver Island. Marilyn Loveless, I absolutely am delighted by what the city of uh, the township of Sydney is doing. I just think it's so great that you guys have taken this on. Let's begin with uh, if people want to come down and experience the walk, the sculpture walk, how can they get the most out of their walk? Well, almost every day in Sydney is sunny. Uh, just saying. Uh, just, yeah, just mentioning that. Yeah, just putting it uh, out there. But you would start uh, to the north of our beautiful waterfront walkway and carry on and uh, it goes uh, almost to the Anacortes Ferry. And there's one piece actually at the Anacortes Ferry uh, that is worth taking a bit of uh, extra time and walk, uh, walk to. Is that it right? the keeper. Ooh, I love the name. It's monumental. It's a fabulous piece of art. Yeah. Now this particular piece is called Shout! I love that. And this is one of your favorites. What do you love about this? Well, it just is such a joyous expression. Uh, I think it, uh, it, it, from the arts in general, uh, yeah, joy is something that people ought to feel when they see something. Not everybody. I'm, some, some of the art uh, you see is for um, you know, spurring your conscience, getting you to think about something. Fair enough, yeah. Uh, but in Sydney, we like people to walk along the, the, the water and see the beautiful natural setting yes. we have here. Yes. You can't get anything more beautiful than that. And then in, it's enhanced by these 12 sculptures that we've selected. And you know what I love is that you are are asking not just the public here on the peninsula but everyone to come out and be part of choosing which piece is going to be permanent here and I also want to talk about in a moment how uh, you might be able to uh, keep some of these pieces in Sydney um, and save a little bit of money on your taxes but we have to take a very short break but please stay with us when we come back we are going to talk about some more public art this time what's out on the bard and the banker so stay with us I love the Bard and the Banker at Christmas time. It's one of my favorite places to go after Christmas shopping. I also love walking Sydney by the sea. And right now, it's particularly festive. Marilyn, remind everyone of what's going on here right now. Yes, this is uh, an opportunity for you to voice your opinion about the 12 pieces of art that are featured on our waterfront between now and January 30th. You have an opportunity to vote for the People's Choice Award. And you can also do it online. And tell us what else people can do. I love this idea because you will see a piece, I'm telling you right now, somebody out there is going to see a piece that they fall in love with. And there is 
possibilities to keep it in our beautiful town of Sydney. Tell us about Always that. Always possibilities. Surely people will find a piece and they'll say, this should be part of a permanent collection. This just speaks Sydney. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you that you can make that happen. As you approach the year end, your accountant may be telling you, you have some room for some charitable giving. And what you can do is select a piece, purchase it, donate it back to the town, and you will get a tax receipt. I love this idea of giving back to the community, but can you imagine if you donated a piece uh, for someone's birthday or a special gift and say, I am donating this piece of public art in your name? Perfect. I love it. I love it. Uh, we have to take a very short break, but stay with us. When we come back, we are going to have Kim Rock with all your concert updates and more right here in beautiful Sydney by the sea. Reindeer, what is this? Well, it's the season, it could be a reindeer. <laughs> I think it's a bit of dog, a bit of moose, but let's, for the season, make it a bit of reindeer. I love it, where's his red nose? <laughs> We could, we could arrange that. We could arrange that. <laughs> uh, you know, Marilyn, this beautiful city, uh, this town, it just celebrates art in such a big way. But when you're going to celebrate art, you might as well add a little gala to it. That's so right. tell us about right. how people can come down, remind everyone of the Sculpture Walk and the People's Choice and about the gala. Absolutely. Um, it's being planned right now. The gala will, will be kind of the wind up for this phase of the program. We'll be taking three more pieces in after that. But on February 12th, note, two days before Valentine's Day. Just saying. We're having a gala called uh, For the Love of Art. And uh, we will be awarding the People's Choice Award. And uh, hopefully we'll have a, a few uh, sponsors, additional sponsors, and we can give more awards. But at the very least, the People's Choice Award will be given. And I'm just uh, here to say, come to Sydney, enjoy this beautiful walk on the waterfront. Take a look, make your pick, one of 12. It is so fun. And you know what's gonna be fun is if you come with your family, you're gonna wanna get one for everyone because I promise you, you will not all agree. You'll all be fighting over what your favorite is. That's right. I wanna thank you so much for inviting us out to beautiful Sydney by the Sea today and for all you do to inspire, support, uh, not only artists, but art. I think that we don't even realize how public art can change people. Uh, it, 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 it gathers people around. It allows conversation. It inspires people to think. It's right. just such a gift. Yes. It is. Such a gift. And I want to thank you so much for watching. If you have any thoughts or feedback, you can follow us on Twitter. I am on Twitter now. Follow me and I will follow you back. You can find us on Facebook. You can go to our website. You can email us. Or if you see us walking around <laughs> Sydney by the sea, say hello. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's Wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and Accessories. Hair Services provided by Salon J.